Hello and welcome to the Futurist 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is a video number 5C of the Replicator G34 video series on how to navigate Replicator G for your TF3D printer. This is uh, going to cover the preferences due to recording length. Uh, I have to break this up into smaller videos. So we're going to cover preferences in detail. So we're going to go up to File, Preferences. Under Preferences, you'll see the Basic tab. The main window font size is 12. That's down below here. If you want to make it bigger, if you can't see this, change it to 24. And exit and re, uh, restart Replicator G, and that will change. This checkbox will monitor temperature during build. So if you uncheck that, this will disappear. If you check it, you'll be able to see your extruder temperature and your platform temperature. Um, this checkbox here automatically connect to machine at startup. If you check that and exit out of Replicator G, we'll go ahead and do that here. <coughs> and we'll go back in. It will utilize your last COM port and attempt to rejoin your Replicator G to your TF3D printer and you'll see it do that here there you go so back to preferences uh, show experimental machine profiles I would leave this checked so you see all available options under machine profiles review G code for potential toolhead problems before building I would leave this unchecked if you check it it will open up a dialog box and you'll have to wait for it to check the G code which might take a long time and then you have to hit OK. Personally, I don't think this is needed, so I leave it unchecked. You can check it if you want, but I leave it unchecked. It usually brings up erroneous errors that really make no difference um, with the final print. Um, break Z motion into separate moves. Um, I would normally leave this unchecked. I did some Google searching on this and I found some people having problems with their Z axes. We do not have problems with our Z axes. Everything works as should, so I would leave that unchecked. Um, show star field and model preview window. Um, this is more of a uh, just a, just a, basically just put stars in your background. It's a cosmetic uh, feature. It does nothing for your print, only for the view for your view screen. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, notifications in the system tray. I leave this checked. This basically puts this colored icon, the Replicator G icon, next to your uh, clock in your lower right hand corner of your system tray. So you can either have that checked or not unchecked. It makes no difference to the actual print. Automatically generate G code when building from a model view. Now I, I would uh, leave that unchecked I normally like to generate my G code select my profile if you leave that checked if you hit build it will already generate your G code even though you've already generated it so it depends on what you want to do if you want to generate G code after changing a scale or doing whatever without going to generate G code here and selecting you can do that and it'll automatically just select all your settings and generate your G code again I normally leave it unchecked. Use native AVR dude for uploading code. This I leave unchecked. This has to do with uploading your firmware to your Adreno board. So we don't have any problems with any of the versions of software we have for our Adrenos, so I would leave that unchecked. View your preferences table. Preferences table is a quick guide uh, basically of, of what all your settings are. It's a quick at a glance you know what's going on you can't make any changes in here so that's what that is reset all preferences we'll reset everything back to factory defaults under advanced you can choose your model code the green the, the frog was yellow in the last few videos now it's green that was done via this this uh, button here choose your background color this will change the background where the stars live um, you can choose whatever color. I'm going to leave mine black because the stars look better surrounded by black. Firmware update URL. This 
URL, either copy it and paste it from the website or type it in. You must have this for your firmware to, uh, to if you click on machine, update firmware, if this is not typed in there, you're going to get the wrong firmware or no firmware at all. Arc resolution, one, leave that there. Um, this is handled by the firmware, so it is ignored. Skeenforge timeout, this will allow your Skeenforge to open up a countdown. Normally, if Skeenforge locks up, it's locked up for good, and you have to end task on it from your, uh, your task manager. So five will allow it to count down for five seconds. A debug level, um, you can set it to all, and you'll see all kinds of information. You'll see temperature settings, you'll see XY coordinate settings, all kinds of information. It's quite overwhelming. Um, leaving it on info is recommended. Log to file. If you check this, you can log all your information to a text document and then review it later. Preheat -build, pre builds. If you check this, um, you'll go over here and set your temperatures 150 Celsius 150 Celsius 75 Celsius if this is checked then if you go up to your machine preheat your build it will use these values to preheat your heated build platform and your tool heads your uh, Python interpreter you want to only have one of those on your machine but I'll show you where that's at here on C I've only got one version if you have more than one version, you'll have 25, 26, 27. If you do have multiple versions, um, even though you go in here and select Python, it still will ask you if you generate your G code. So the best thing to do is to leave that, um, is to only have one version on your, on your in your C drive installed. <coughs> so on Replicator G launch, open last open on save file what this is going to do is the frog that I have loaded if I said open a new file if I exited out and came back into replicator G that frog would be gone it would be just sitting at a blank new area ready to be uh, for a STL file to be loaded if you say open last or save document or, fa or file this will open up the frog um, on exit and reopen so we can try that here so that's pretty much everything in preferences. We've covered everything in basic, everything in advanced. And we're going to say, say closed. And we'll try doing that here now. We'll exit out of Replicator G. We'll open it up. <coughs> and as you can see, your uh, STL file has reopened. If the other radio button was selected, this would be a blank new screen like that. So, okay, uh, we've run out of time, so we're going to go ahead and close this video. And in the next video, we will cover all other menu items. And we'll see you then.